Hi guys, my name is Eleni. I had a completely different video planned for today, but a bunch of things happened this week and so I've decided to make this video. I was talking to a friend of mine and she kind of called it the, the evils perpetrated on customer service people. It was a story that a friend of mine told me today and um, this is what led me to make this video. Now, customer service is extremely important. Nobody wants to go to a place, um, whether they're going to a site or to talk to someone face to face or they're talking to someone on the phone, they don't want to think they don't be treated bad, they don't want attitude, they don't want um, a lot of things that sometimes uh, people forget. Enough people don't actually devote themselves to um, customer service. They consider it a job that they kind of have to do, they don't consider it um, more of a career, which, which is a shame. I remember being at a fast food place, I, I won't say which one, and I guess the guy ordered poutine. I mean, it's poutine at a fast food place anyway, so you know. And instead of saying, I'm sorry, but the poutine, I'm sorry, but the poutine you gave me is, is cold. Can you heat it up or give me a fresh one? He came up and was like, can you hear it, please? I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Can you repeat that? Can you hear it, please? I'm sorry, sir. I'm, I'm trying. I, I can't quite hear you. Could you speak up a little bit? Can you heat it up, please? Oh, you'd like me to heat it up? saliva all over his hands, licking his fingers, going, like, who are you? Okay, the fries, cheese, and gravy were cold. No one likes fries, cheese, and gravy cold, but just ask him to heat it up. I guess that was supposed to be, like, silent rage, like, heat up my fries before I freak out on you. In my own personal experience, um, I had one gentleman who would call, and everybody in the call center spoke to them. This is my current job. It was my first job. And we all knew him. And I remember him to this day because he'd call and I'd say, give my intro and say, you know, my um, my system is, is broken. I purchased it five years ago and uh, I would like a replacement. Okay, sir, well, the warranty is one year. So if you've had it for five years, um, we're not going to replace the unit. May I have your customer service number, please, so I can look up your file, see what I can do for you. Right? All good? Everything's all good. Well, you know, this is a very frustrating experience. Uh, these systems, they should last 20 years at least. And it's broken. And now I'd like the president of the company to get into a limousine, stop at the end of the street, get out, crawl on his knees with a new system all the way down the block to me and present it to me humbly. So in order to get that to happen, I've shut off all the lights, I've hung dead chickens from the ceiling, and I wrote the name of the company in blood on my forehead. Now by that time I had been doing customer service for a while, I had heard of this guy and quite frankly, I would had a bad day. So I had said, okay sir, I'd be happy to help you with that, can I please have your customer service number? Well, I have at least 10 that I've carved on my forehead. Are you in front of a reflective surface? I didn't want to make this a long video so I'll get to the point. I saw a story today um, by a good friend about somebody that she knows that works um, in a face-to-face -face customer service. Uh, industry who is currently working and dealing with members of the public well I guess one of the patrons was unhappy with what was said I don't even know what was said and quite frankly I don't care what was said this poor person got spat on twice spat on <laughs> I mean what like what like what the what quite frankly I'm just left I'm dumbfounded I'm dumbfounded. At what point do you as an individual say to yourself, I am so much better than you that I can spit on you. I can spit all over you because that is what you're worth and I am better. No. 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 Never. Never. No, I don't believe the person gave the customer attitude, but even if they had, you don't spit on people. At what point in your upbringing were you told, you know, someone sasses you, you just <laughs> and get it over with, right all over them. Seriously, people, seriously. People don't deserve that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna wrap it up. My parents are both waiters. They put my sister and I through school and um, put up with a lot to do that. Um, by the way, tip your waiters. Seriously, they're putting kids through school.
You do not grace them with your presence? Tip your waiters. Seriously? But I digress. We need to be good to each other. I care what role you're in. I don't care how much money you make. I don't care how you were raised. There is always a better way than to treat people like crap. We can do better. We should do better. Anyway, if you're seeing this, I hope everybody's well. If you are in a customer service position or anything like that, please leave a comment. Let me know uh, your experiences. It'll be okay. We've all had bad experiences. We'll do better. You take a breath. Try not to take it home with you. And if you're guilty of bad behavior, it's not too late to apologize and do better next time. Okay, guys.